Okay, welcome back. Let's talk about responsibility for creating value and change. It's interesting how many times people go to trainings and, you know, they take the most awesome notes. They make color charts, they underline keywords, they draw mind maps, and, you know, they create notes that any PhD would be proud of. Then when they get back home, they take those beautiful notes and they put them there on that dusty note shelf next to all the other notes that they took of courses gone by. Now, courses where they had every intention to take some form of action, but it seems that life just got in the way and things slipped. Here, on the other hand, the next person who did the same course actually took those skills and learned and created wonderful change in their life. So, as you do this course and as you go through this training, consider this. Are you doing some self-help or are you doing some shelf help? Let's look at somebody who buys a car. You know, two people living next door to each other can buy the exact same car. And one person, well, he drives his car every single day, takes it camping, towing the boat, towing the jet skis, going on family holidays, really getting so much value and use out of the car. While the neighbor only drives the car to church and back each Sunday and then parks it up in the garage and there it stands until the following week. Five years later, when the day comes to trade in that car, the first person is all too happy to be buying a new car and is happy with the price. Whereas the second neighbor, well, you know, he thinks about it and he thinks, why, you know, the price and the size of the car, it's just not worth it. Now, the car was exactly the same. And both people had the opportunity to create what they wanted with the car. But it comes down, it's our responsibility to create value. Or, similarly, to create change in our life. So, if I was to say to you, close your eyes. And relax the muscles around your eyes till they were so relaxed that you just couldn't relax them anymore. And then holding on to that relaxation, go ahead and test them and make sure that they just won't work. Then whose responsibility would it be to do those actions? Well, it would be the clients, isn't it? And this is the important thing to understand. And so it always boils down to the fact that it's our responsibility to create value or to create change with the resources that we have. And it's a very important consideration in creating value from anything that we learn or we do. You see, a product is merely a product. Whether you're buying a car or you're doing a course, it's only a product. It's what do you take away from it. When you say you're going to do and take certain actions to achieve your goals, then the goal is simply just a dream until you physically take those actions to go ahead and achieve them. So again, the question is, are you doing self-help or shelf-help? And I sincerely hope that, you know, you take responsibility and, and get wonderful value from doing this course. Now, by no means will you get all the value out of this than what you would do out of the live training, for sure, where we're spending seven or more days together. And learning a tremendous amount more. You're already taking this time to do that, investing your time, investing some effort, and I commend you for that. And I sincerely hope that you get the most out of this that you possibly can. So that's responsibility for creating value and change. And so I see you in the next section.